Hi everyone, my name is Ruby Valdovinos and I'm a real estate agent here in Southern California. So you're gonna notice a difference in setting and output change. Today I'm gonna talk about how I passed my exam on the first try. Maybe you just bought your real estate courses and you are trying to find some study tips. Maybe you already completed your courses and you are wanting to switch up some study habits to make sure you study smart and pass the exam on the first try. Or maybe you're done studying, your exam is in a couple weeks, maybe tomorrow and you just want some last minute tips on test day, what to expect, etc. If you just bought your online real estate courses or you're looking to buy them, typically when you buy the online course, it include three. At the end of each course, you're going to have to pass this exam to move on to the second course. If you do not pass your exam that is at the end of the course, the first try, you're going to have to retake it after 18 days have passed. You cannot fail the exam at the end of the course, for example, today, and then take it tomorrow and pass it. The system will not allow you to do that. After you complete the three courses, you will receive a certificate for each course. In sum, you will receive three certificates. After you are done with the three certificates, send in proof of my three certificates as well as the application for my exam. And if I wanted to pay with credit card, I had to fill in the additional form. So the time frame from when I submitted all my courses and certificates to the time when I took my exam was about four months. I don't know how it's gonna look like when you watch this video, but just keep in mind that it will take some time. There was no math on my exam, which I was so pissed about because I took hours to study. If you already completed your courses and you're ready to change up your study habit to take your exam, I highly recommend to read the full summary at the end of each chapter. In addition to that, I recommend studying the vocabulary, whether you are writing it down and writing the definition, using Quizlets, watching YouTube videos, however you wanna make sure you're able to define and you completely understand the terminology. In addition to memorizing each vocabulary word or terminology, you wanna make sure you're able to group or list the words in its specific category. For example, which ones below are not joint tenancy? Estate for years, periodic tenancy, tenancy at will, and tenancy at sufferance are the four types of tenancy. In that question, you're gonna know that if you see community property or joint tenancy, you're gonna notice those do not fall in the category of tenancy forms or tenancy type. Now, if you're ready to take your exam or you're just wondering on what to expect on the day of exam, you're going to have 150 questions on the exam with a total of three hours and 15 minutes. They are all multiple choice and you need 105 out of 150 questions correct to pass the exam. That puts you at 70%. In sum, you're able to miss 45 questions and still pass. Now, at the day of the exam, you wanna get there early. You are not allowed any watch, phone, ID, nothing. All you walk in is with a mouse. So you can click away and respond as you take your exam. My exam, I think, was at 1245. So I thought at 1245 you had to start, but I was realizing that at 1245, the exam starts automatically. Uh, but if you do arrive early, you have the opportunity to start the exam as you get there. When you get there, take a deep breath. I remember when I was taking my exam, I was really sweaty. I started to kind of doze off. I think when it was an hour and a half in, maybe I was in question 70 out of the 150. I needed a break, so I went to the restroom, I shook it off, I kind of rinsed my mouth, washed my hands, and I came back. I'm the kind of person that cannot sit in a seat for a very long time. Make sure you take that break. Um, it's weird, like you look down to a little window and under that window, it's the monitor. And then that's how you click and take your exam. I would recommend only responding to the questions you are completely sure about first. You do not want to waste time on the very, very hard ones. After you take the exam, it's really stressful because you're like, holy shiznit. Did I pass? Did I fail? So when you walk out, you turn to your mouse, you get your ID, etc. The lady in the front prints out your results for you. I remember asking her a question, excuse me, you know, depending on these results, what? And then she cut me off and was like, you're fine. And she was like this and I was like, oh my God, I think I passed. That look made me think that I passed. So I was with my partner in my car, I opened it and I passed. Well, that concludes today's video, everyone. Uh, do not forget to subscribe. It is completely free and I'll see you until next time. Bye.